and we are back. Today's map's going to be SMG Spaceport, Safety Sand Turn Timer, Expert AI, Progressive Cars, Balance Split Stace, No Alliances, No Fog, No Portals, and No Blizzards. That's right, No Blizzards, because this is another practice session for the Kill B Open 2 Invitational. We're going to be in this tournament. We've practiced Classic Fix. We had three, three games. We popped off in the last one. I feel pretty comfortable with it now. It's really going to come down to that spawn. However, round two is more in my wheelhouse. This is my exact settings that I love to play on, except for with uh, without blizzards. So literally, my signature settings without blizzards, I think we're going to have a really good chance of winning round two here. So I don't want to put all my eggs in a single basket, but if I complete completely flop round one say i get sixth place in the classic fixed i can come back strong with a first place finish in this one so we are the purple player in the fifth position just going to switch up the colors here when it's a practice round this is still a ranked match here but good practice for the upcoming tournament and since i'm going to be uploading these um as the tournament nears i might um I don't know when these practice rounds are going to coincide with the actual tournament. I know it starts in a few days, so I might not be able to have a one practice round for each for each round upcoming. I don't know. Stay posted on that. I don't even know if that made sense, but um, we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't know if I'll have enough practice games uh, out before the actual tournament starts. As the black player did not connect and bots out here... We are purple, which is kind of strange because we have white in here. Um, all right, so I think our five is kind of stuck, unfortunately. It looks like we get the middle bonus here pretty handedly since we get a nice plus five injection. Green comes in. This is a really intriguing map. Red gets a turn one bonus. Um, I think my play is the center of the map here. And then I'll try to save my five and three. My two is dead. Uh, yeah, I like how all my troops... We only lose two. We're going to get a plus five here. I think we take this pretty handedly. And I don't think the bot breaks us. The bot could go six and slam. They might do that. So I think I put, end up putting six here. Um, I could roll eight. But if I lose too many dice here, I'll be in trouble. So I think I go here... And then fortify. Yeah. Oh my god, perfect dice. Okay, I don't think black rolls... I don't think black's gonna roll... A six. Yeah. I don't think black rolls a six. I might be wrong. I'm willing to risk that he doesn't, though. Ooh, and a wild card for our first card. Green might break me, but I don't think that would be smart. Blue coming in here. I was about to say, all right, where are the blizzards at? And then I realized that we don't have blizzards for this game. Um, okay, blue gets the bonus. Very cool. Very, very cool. A lot of these maps I have actually never played without blizzards, so this is kind of hilarious. Um, blue, really good guard here except for the two. I am really sorry if you keep looking at the white player because that's what I keep doing. That's what happens when you only use one color for almost all of your games. Stop looking at the white player. We are purple. We are the purple player. Oh, gosh, this is trippy. I should have just played white. I should have just played white. I was trying to get some variety. All right, if green doesn't betray me here. The, the cool thing is, though, green would have to put three here. And then slam a 5v2, which isn't 100%. So he would not only forego his card for the turn, but he would have to roll a not 100% to break me when I am not conflicting him at all. Um, so I think we make it through the night unless black rolls a 6v6. And if we do, I'm feeling really good about this. Now, this is only a plus 2. But I'm pretty confident that we can expand our horizons into this big boy, which would then be a two guard here, and I could get rid of this guard. So then it would be a... Th oh, no, I have a guard here. That's a four guard. Hmm. Well, maybe I use this to get this instead, and I migrate over. I kind of like that. Yeah. I think that's the play, is use this plus two to upgrade into the plus three. Because then we can hold... This would be a better three guard, right? 
Well, I could hold up to here, and then if someone breaks me, it unlocks this, and then it stays open here. I kind of like this. Okay. My new game plan is we are going to... Oh, red gets three bonuses, though, right? No, just two. Okay, red gets a plus four. A uh, lot of little bonuses over here. Maybe blue can stop him. Um, white wants here, though, right? So I'm either going to use this for... Oh, we lose my two there. White might slam green, actually. White might take this for himself. I'm not sure. Um... Well, I can try to roll a three. I don't really want to roll a three. I'd rather focus on here. I'd rather focus on this second bonus, if I'm being honest. Um, I still don't think black rolls a six, so I'm going to leave that there. And I think I just move out and hit this too. And then I'll start mining this out slowly but surely. Uh, yes, and then, oh, then I reel this in to cover. I like this. Okay, we're going to do this. We only lose one, and now I reel this in to guard against green. I like that. I dig that. I'm not a. I'm not against that. I am not against that. I'm gonna start mining all this out now. Remember, black is a bot. Uh, blue slams red. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Bad neighbor fever. Bad neighbor fever, man. Um. Oh, man, he went into that six like he had dreams, like he had ambition. Uh, and now Red slams the crackers out of that. Red puts five here and says, get that junk out of here. And that's going to buy time for myself and Green to really get in there. To really, really get in there. Oh, instead, Red says, you know what? I'll be taking that. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, bad neighbor fever. Let's go. All right, white puts in. Does white... Br I think white breaks green. No. Interesting. White just takes a bonus for himself and leaves his seven. Goes good neighbor with green. That is intriguing to me. I was definitely expecting white to hit green. I was definitely... Oh, maybe not because green has a five, right? Because then green could respond. Ooh. Oh, black bot pops off. And that's all black bot does. Okay. All right, blue is very vulnerable right now. Blue is very, very vulnerable. We want to keep an eye on him, but he's he's constricted to the other side of the board, so we probably won't have access. So I think I just... Oh, red is pretty vulnerable as well, and we have him kill guarded over here. So if blue can somehow win against red, um, green puts in five. I don't like that. He doesn't have any blocking black, but he blocks me. Fail this roll. Fail this roll. You don't always get a 4v2. You got it last time. Don't give it to him, Chief. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. Ah, uh, gives it to him. Interesting. So I didn't break you twice, and he still guards against me. Interesting. And if I move this, he would break me. I guarantee you. I guarantee he would do it. Just look at him. Just look at him. Uh... I don't, I don't think white rolls that seven. I don't think he does. Uh, green could absolutely slam jam that, though. I really don't want to lose my plus two. But at the end of the day, it is just a plus two. Um, I don't know what I want to do here, boys. I think I hit this. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Okay. I locked my four, but I think I'll be okay. If green rolls that, I would be very surprised. I actually really don't like stacking against green. I'm getting nervous. I think I'm just going to move out. <laughs> I don't want to be near green. I think what I do is I just forsake the plus two. Uh, the game's starting to get underway here. I don't want to just be tied down to a bonus. I want to be mobile. I want to be mobile and see if I can get some kills, even though we haven't set yet. Oh, maybe not, because the sets haven't started coming in. Maybe I do just bunker down and try to hold this plus two. Blue gets their bonus. I just really don't trust green. And black could set and slam here for an early set. For some reason, I just I think it's because green put this up against me. If he should have put it right here or here. Um... 
Okay, and red just goes hammer. Okay, see, this is why I want to be mobile. Oh, and red slams uh, white as well. I almost said pink. Does he roll the 4v2? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Mine oh, it gets a slow roll. I see you, red. Red is just a hungry hippo. Red is just a hungry hippo. Wow, so red greeds for three bonuses? Or is that four? That is three plus two. He has plus six on the line if he can hold it. I don't think he can, though. I don't think he does. I wonder if white's going to roll my five. I kind of want to move it out. Okay, I'm down for this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he just has this. He goes multi-positional. He's going to link up with his four. He's going to roll my two. Yeah, minus two, get wrecked. Um, interesting. I'm slowly creeping away with troops, but if green breaks me, it's all for naught. Black sets early and slams. Oh, my God. Where does he slam? Oh, my God. He slams blue. Blue was the chosen one. Does he slam? No, okay. He slams blue. That is so comical to me. Oh, my God. Break green. Break green 2v1. Oh, red. black gets the outside spaceport as well. What? Black with the big brain plays, dude. Blue's just going to slam this and take back their bonus. Green's going to have to block against the bot. Okay. I think I don't actually guard this anymore. I think I just leave this open. Um, I kind of like this five on that red three, though, just in case things go crazy with red. Um... Just in case things go crazy with red and then I can kill red, right? Well, if red gets minced, white can kill him, black can kill him, and green can kill him. So really, it might just be better if I get rid of red and let white have this. Because white still has to deal with the green five, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, I like how me and green are back-to-back are -back with the sevens. I'm going to do this and then hit fist bump and fist bump for green to let him know I'm not going to hurt him. Okay, I just realized that. And I'm going to unlock my stack. Okay. All right. Sorry if you could hear the game volume echoing in the mic. I didn't realize my monitor volume was on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, blue's turn. I'm trying to go good neighbor with green, so I didn't stack any there, but he might betray me for that. Blue doesn't set. Oh, my God, he's so dead. He's so dead. Oh, blue is going to feed. Oh, red's just going to gum, 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 gum. Or black. Yeah, red sets and kills blue for four cards. Red sets and kills blue for four cards. Yep. Oh, it writes itself on top of that. Red got all three bonuses. Oh, my God. But instead, he plumps up. Are you kidding me? If if white didn't get rid of me here, I would kill blue. Hmm. Oh, is he still going to go for it? He doesn't have it now. No, he just goes for the bonuses. You don't have it now. You blew it. You could have put all your troops there. You're not going to get it. 100% not going to get it. 100% not going to get it. No way. No way. Oh, in real. He gets away with it, dude. He literally puts crumbs there and he still rolls it. That is just distasteful. Blue just got embarrassed to the world. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, blue player was poorly Brian McColkey. I am so sorry, my guy. Green is Terrell Man. Um, Sizzik is going to be our white player. And then red player is Elliot Hira Bayashi. Taking names, man. Hopefully, uh, white or the bot does something because red is getting a little bit chunky over there. To be fair, I'm pretty far away from red. Um, so that's good. Well, really not. He could just take the ship over here, right? He goes bang, bang, and then he's in my grill. 
White puts 15? He's gonna break me? White's really gonna break me because I didn't uh, lock my stack? Oh, okay, no, he's gonna go around. Thank you. I was about to say, White's gonna go for the space shuttle boat. <gasps> White backdoors red. Oh my god. He said, you know what? I don't like how chunky you got, sir. And he's gonna save the lobby. White saves the lobby. Unreal. That is crazy. What a play by the white player. Mad respect for white for doing that. That completely saves the lobby. Now it's anyone's game instead of just red. Instead of red, just showboating. But the key here is all my stacks are open. I don't want any locked troops going into this tournament. I don't care. Slip by me. Take the bonus. I don't care. I want open stacks so I can get kills and get those bounties. I'm going to try to hold these bonuses very loosely unless the occasion uh, calls for something else. Unless the occasion calls for something else. Green puts in there. White is kill guarding green. Does white roll something silly on my seven? All right. He bumps to a nine. That's fine with me. I can bump that to a nine. I don't mind. I'm letting you have an extra bonus though, which is, you know, it is what it is. See. All right. He hits black. Black is definitely dead next turn. Black is definitely dead next turn. All right. I think I run all of this. Um, that'll kind of feed black, won't it? I think that'll feed black. Yeah. Well, red and white aren't going to kill black, but then green might. Oh, I'm in a tricky position. Yeah, black's going to get fed. I think it's better that we have a kill guard on black. All right, I like that. Oh my god, another wild card. Do I get killed here because I didn't set early? I don't think so. I'm kind of spread out. I'm all I'm in the same quadrant of the spaceship. So what I did there was I put up a very soft kill guard on black. Um, just trying to make it a little bit harder for my opponents to kill black. I really wanted to wipe this out for the bonus. But at this point in the game, bonuses aren't worth it. Positioning and big stacks are worth it. And I don't have any big stacks here, but I have a bunch of small mobile stacks. So I can use this to go here, this to go here and here, this to go out and over, this to come down into green, this to go there. So everything's mobile, nothing's locked. My bonus isn't even covered here. And now we're gonna get the biggest set in the game. White puts an eight there and uses his multi-position. Okay, I think white is at least an expert. If you're able to pull off a multi-position like this, you're at least an expert. Um, or he's just watched a lot of good um, risk players. My thing with multi-positional moving forward is just, anytime I do this, like wait, what's what white's doing, seven, eight, eight. I usually like this seven will get killed by red because he doesn't like it next to his army, right? That's what happens to me a lot when I go multi-positional. That might just be me, though. I just feel like my stack always ends up in someone's quote-unquote bonus, even if it looked like that bonus was not attainable. <laughs> um, it's like a 50-50 at this point. Every other game I go multi-positional, I end up losing one of my three stacks. So it's just, it's just how it goes. All right. Green, big set here. Green is the only one that sets on five before me. Um, I'm going to kill black if he doesn't. I am going to kill black if he doesn't. Oh, I have to go through red though, right? That's still worth it, I think. I think it's still worth. Oh, I could kill white too. Oh, I kill black and white potentially. Just roll this. Put a bunch here. I don't know. That might. Well, let's see what green hits. Let's see what green hits. I'll kill black. Green sets for 12. Ooh, he puts it all here and breaks me. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, he passes. He fumbles the bag. We have to use a wild card because I have both. That's hilarious. All right, this is enough to kill that. I put everything else here and just go ham? I think so. Yeah. 
Good dice. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, I literally just run right by red. I'm like, hey, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> Can I kill purple? I'm sorry, white. Oh, we keep the wild card. That's phenomenal. I think I kill white here. Yeah, 16 should be enough. Um, oh, it might not be. Oh, it might not be because I need 12. Yeah, it's not enough. Never mind. I'm kill guarding red. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to do... I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Uh, I didn't have enough to kill white, so I just put a 24 on the spaceship and chill. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right call. Do I, have a, I have a set on three, though, because the wild card. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? So I thought I had, I had enough to kill white here, and I had enough to kill white here, but then if I put enough to kill here, I couldn't have killed here. So it was, I was one, I was a couple troops shy of running that. Because then if I killed white, I could have probably killed red. If red doesn't set here, he loses the game. Red's going to break my bonuses. And I got my nine away from green, which is good. If everyone just, just completely destroys me here, I lose the game. Red doesn't set though, so he is in trouble. Red doesn't set. He's going to be stuck on five. He's going to break everything, which is at, which sucks for me. But now I don't think my other opponents hit me. So now it just looks like Red's the bad guy. And that being said, Red has five cards and like six bonuses. So I think Red still appears like the public enemy. Now, White might take it personally that I stacked here and was like, oh, hey, White. And I can still kill White this turn. It might actually be better because to kill white, I just go like this, bang, bang. Oh, I kill white here. So I just go bang, boom, boom. Then I'm lined on red. And then I put like 11 here, bang, bang. Oh, no, if green kill guards here, I need you to go back inside, sir. Oh, if he backdoors red, it makes it even easier. Bro, it writes itself. It writes itself. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. We need to get better at seeing the kill before, like, this is already lined up from last turn. We're already lined up on white from last turn. This is amazing. Okay, this is going to be very quick here. We go bang, boom, boom, boom. We come in for red, and this is already, we just put enough to kill red. Yeah, we got it. I think we got the game here. We kill uh, white, we kill red, and then it's a 1v1 against green, who has to get a set on three, essentially. Who has to get a set on three to even have a chance, if I can do this right. So 12, give me 13 here. I already have enough there and give me like two there. All right, here we go, here we go. We set on three because of the wild card. All right, give me two in case I get bad dice. Give me 12 should do, 13 in case I get bad dice. And then everything else here. Do I need that much there? I don't, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get me four. Oh, wrong stack. Okay. Okay. And then I just hit white there. But before I do that, let me go ahead and trim red down to size. Use up that timer to the best of my ability. We set again. Oh, God, I don't set. I counted my ducklings too quickly. Oh, shoot. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> I didn't set on five. I killed white. I was thinking I was killing red. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. Oh, I might have just thrown the game. I'm so glad this isn't the tournament. Oh, is he going to kill green? No, he's going to kill me. Yes, he's going to break me. But I have another set. So unless he completely feeds me. Oh, I botched so hard, dude. If green sets, I think I lose. Bro, I killed white thinking it had it was going to set me. And then I even showboated. I was like, oh, let me line up my kill on red. Oh, I'm so good at this game. This is why we're playing a practice round. That way, I only lose my Grandmaster and not the tournament. 
I might still win, though, because I do have five cars. Does green set? Does green set and kill me? Oh, I'm so blanked. I'm so blanked, man. Okay, he can't kill me, I don't think, with that 60. He didn't put all of his troops in the right spot. So now I have to kill red. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm going to lose all my troops. I don't think he kills me, yeah. Especially if he goes left. Yeah, he can't kill me. Green's really slow. We can easily beat green in the 1v1, but if he kill guards red, I'm in trouble. Okay, it doesn't look like he's kill guarding red. I just need a few here. I can put everything here and kill red. Okay, green is really bad. I can still rectify this, I think. <sighs> okay, I need, I'm gonna need good dice on that 28 or I lose the game. I do get a tiny territory. Oh, I have this bonus as well. Wow, that's going to be just enough, I think. It's going to be just enough for yours truly. Uh, I think I put everything there. And that way I only have to split a couple times. Yeah. All right, boys, give it to me. This is going to have to be enough. Four. Bang. Bang boom bang then i need four again and now this is gonna have to be god dice on this 28 <sighs> this is gonna have to be god dice god dice let's go let's go we rectify the situation and now we take down green holy cracker jacks oh my god that was way too close for comfort way too close my my 10 is locked unfortunately okay this can peel out all right, all right. hopefully i get good dice here as well all right that'll do that's enough for me i can break these all right that'll have to do and then i just traces 14 yeah. All right, that'll do. Do we have a set on three? We do have a set on three. Good God. Slap me silly and call me Timmy Turner. That's a dub. That is a dub for the purple player. Well, I still feel really proud that my game has essentially gotten more aggressive, more risky, I'm willing to take those risks, and I think a lot of it is due to the amount of times I have failed. <laughs> I failed enough splits. I've run out of time enough times to go, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the risky roll. I'm going to go for the risky play. I'm going to keep my stacks mobile. I'm going to go for the kills. I'm going to give the most exciting gameplay I possibly can, and I'm going to leave it all out on the line. Does it end terribly sometimes? Absolutely. But does it end grandly and beautifully sometimes? You know it. All right, I need 13, make it 22 or something, and split that. Uh, that should do there. And then I set here. And then all of this connects, and then all of this connects. So I need, like, I need 20, I think 26. I think that's enough. Let's see if my stat distribution worked out here. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, okay, just having a little fun with the dice here. I think this is enough. Oh, GG, boys. GG. Hit them with the Hezzy. Walk away with a win for the kill beat open, potentially. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be my money maker early on in round two. I'm really, really hoping I can do well in this. If I can't win, hopefully get a couple bounties and bring it home. White was a master and red was an expert. Fantastic practice for the tournament. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.